sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house for sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to the barbecuepitboys.com. Today we're going to do some potato chips stuffed bacon burgers on the grill. And they're real easy to do. All right, we got to check this out. All right, here I've got some uh, ground beef. This is ground chuck. And you want to use about an 80-85% lean uh, ground beef for this recipe, otherwise uh, you can have difficulties putting these burgers together. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do here is make about one-third pound burgers, about the size of a cue ball. And uh, certainly don't want to go any bigger than half pound. And then also you want to smoke up some bacon. We here we have a pound of bacon smoking up low and slow there, and uh, you can check out our previous videos on how to do that. All right. So like I said, you make up these uh, burgers to about one third pound, and just uh, roll them up. And this is the easiest way to do. You make a bunch of them in a short time. Now, if you've never had these potato chips stuffed bacon burgers before, you gotta check these out. They're real good, especially for kids of all ages. You wanna be sure to make a bunch of them. All right, it's kinda easy to do, as you can see that. All right, now the magic of this recipe. You want to get yourself some of your favorite potato chips. Give me any flavor you want. And uh, because uh, each burger is going to get stuffed with these chips, it's going to be about maybe a half ounce of chips per one-third pound burger. And you don't have to be exact. It all works out real good. Just give it a try. I think you're getting the idea where we're going with this. Like I said, it's real easy to do. Now it's uh, real important to make these burgers consistent and you want to make them real thin. Because of the added chips to these burgers, uh, you want to keep a controlled fire and uh, you want to cook them real fast because you don't want to burn the chips. That's the way they should look. All right, now let's uh, try a different uh, flavor of chips. Barbecue chips work real well. Now we got a few ounces of chips there, that'll make three more burgers. Good enough to eat already, you know what I mean. Now 
now that you're getting the idea of how uh, this is done, I guess I could speed up this video a bit, but uh, heck, I'm in no rush. But if you're in no rush, just kick back, put your feet up. Man, this is all good. Again, flatten them out, maybe about a half inch thick at the most. Makes you want to go out and get yourself some burger and chips now, don't it? Now, this also works well with corn chips. And, uh, like I said, get yourself some uh, corn chips, your favorite kind of corn chips. And uh, it adds a nice, uh, well, you bet, corn flavor to your burgers. Take a look at that. All right, now it's time to put these burgers on the grill. Now uh, we're gonna do uh, do these burgers on a medium heat. We don't want the charcoal too hot because again, we don't want to burn the chips that are uh, stuffed in these burgers. Place them directly over those coals. It's only gonna take a few minutes each side to get these done. Then you want to add, of course, a little bit of seasoning. Here's a little bit of salt and pepper, a little garlic flavor. Put the cover on for a minute or two. And you want to check that smoke bake. Oh yeah. Bacon is ready. Now here we're gonna flip these burgers to the other side. Man, can you smell that? It smells good. All right, another minute or two. Man, I'd say it's time to eat. Now you want to uh, dress up your uh, potato chip stuff, bacon burgers, any way you like. Some sauce. Grab my own delay, baby. Show you who's boss. Got my seed in my hair, baby. I don't care. Gonna blow some biscuits. Grab me a pair of. Oh. Now, as always, uh, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but this is Pitmaster Prick.
tie my barbecue shoes on. Gonna grab me some pies at the chicken coop. Got my barbecue shoes on. Gonna throw up some legs and get some barbecue action. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out barbecuepitboys.com.